Hello, I'm David Thornton. Let's make some shrimp and grits. Really good stuff. Let me go over the ingredients with you. Okay, for the grits, we've got one 12 ounce can of chicken broth, one cup of quick grits, I've got three quarters of a cup of cheddar cheese and a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, and I've got one cup of milk. Now we'll also add a little salt and pepper and a little dash of cayenne pepper, a little dash of pepper sauce to the grits when we're making them. All right, now for the, the shrimp, the other side of this dish, I've got a pound and a half of shrimp. Okay, I got another can of chicken broth, but we'll only end up using about a cup, maybe a little bit more, about a cup of chicken broth. I've got four pieces of cooked bacon chopped. I've got about 12 to 16 ounces of Alduli sausage uh, sliced up. I've got the bacon grease from where I cooked the bacon. Okay, I've got two green onions chopped. I've got one cup of regular white or yellow onion chopped. I've also got one cup of mushrooms sliced, and I got a couple of cloves of garlic I'm going to press in there also. Now, there's two tablespoons of fresh parsley chopped, and a couple of tablespoons of Parmesan cheese just to help us thicken it with towards the end. Uh, two tablespoons of flour. Okay, and then I've got one half of a lemon. We're going to use the juice from that. Also a little salt and pepper and the cayenne and a little Worcestershire sauce and uh, pepper sauce. Okay, all right, first we're going to brown this sausage while we get the grits going. We want the grits done first because it doesn't hurt them to sit for a little bit. Alright, so for the grits, I got the sausage, sausage browning here. Now for the grits, we're going to put this whole can of chicken broth, this 14 ounce can of chicken broth. We're going to put the one cup of milk. Okay, then we're going to bring that to a boil. starts boiling, uh, we're going to add the quick grits just until they get thick. The grits are real easy to make. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of shakes of salt in here. I'm going to put about the same amount of black pepper and I'm going to put just a dash of cayenne, not even a quarter teaspoon, just a dash, and I'm going to put just a couple of drops of pepper sauce. It's not going to hurt to go ahead and put that in there now. All right. And while that's doing that, we want to take our shrimp here and let's go ahead and season them with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Okay, and then we want to take the two tablespoons of flour and just put that on the shrimp. All right, we're going to work that in, just let it stick to the shrimp, just get it all over the shrimp. Okay, you don't have to do it too much. Just Heat up really good. Get this sausage brown. Turn it down a little bit so the milk don't scorch to the bottom. But it's still it's heating up really good.
pot is just starting to boil, so I'm going to go ahead and add the one cup of quick grits. And we're just going to stir this until it thickens up. Take just a, just a minute or so. Sausages come along good. Just starting to thicken. We want to let it thicken up pretty good. cheddar cheese and a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. And we just want to stir that in there so it blends good. Alright, these are looking really good. Alright, we're just going to cover that and set it back out of the way. Alright, now we're going to come back to our shrimp. We're going to take uh, the bacon grease that we got from the bacon earlier. About a third of a cup. A third of a cup. Enough to cut the, cut the bottom really good. Alright, we're going to get this going. Got it on about six. Let that bacon grease start heating up. And at this point, we want to put all our vegetables in here. Our onion. We got our green onion. We had two, two or three green onions, depending on the size of them white and light green parts only. Alright, and then we got our mushrooms. It's so one cup of mushrooms. And I'm going to press two cloves of garlic in here.
good stuff right there. It's crazy it doesn't, it doesn't do nothing for your breath, but it sure does make the food taste better. Vegetables have come along really good. Alright, give this just a little bit longer. And we're going to throw our shrimp in there and get them cooked. Go ahead and do that. The vegetables are looking really good. flour and seasonings in there. Get the shrimp all done, we'll put that sausage back in there, a little bacon. Cooking these shrimp till they get pink. All right, the shrimp are all nice and pink, just pink, not overcooked. We're going to go ahead and add the sausage back in here. pieces of bacon in here and then we're going to go ahead and put the chicken broth. I just got one one cup, maybe just a dab more if you want more juice. Alright, now we're going to let this heat up good and from the flour that we put on the shrimp it should uh, boil and thicken up into a little sauce a little bit. It's looking really good. I'll add all dilly sausage and shrimp and mushrooms. I love all that stuff. The shrimp cook for about about five minutes until the shrimp got done. Now, this shouldn't take too much longer, just a couple more minutes.
All right, it's getting real close, so let's go ahead and put our dash or two of Worcestershire sauce. A little dash or two of hot pepper sauce. And we're going to go ahead and put the juice from half a lemon. Let this continue to reduce just a little bit. We'll go ahead and put our couple of tablespoons of Parmesan cheese in there. That'll help make it thicken up a little bit, add a little flavor. Let's go ahead and hit it with a little more salt and pepper. a little bit. Looking really good. Now this does need to reduce down for a couple minutes. Turn this down to five. I'm going to let this sit here and reduce just for a couple of minutes and then we'll be ready to put it on a plate and try some of it. Alright, this stuff has been reducing down for another about four, four and a half minutes. It's looking real good. I think it's time to put some on a plate. Cheese grits are still warm back here. There you have Dave's shrimp and grits. Really good stuff. Oh, and sorry, by the way, don't forget to sprinkle the bacon on top. Gotta do that. Anyway, once again, this is Dave's shrimp and grits. I hope you really enjoy. This stuff is really good. You'll make it again if you make it once. Anyway, thanks for your time. I appreciate you.